Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Real Life Examples of Changes in Energy Levels of Electrons. So, the energy level of an electron, here we're usually referring to an atom with electrons that orbit a nucleus, and a given electron can be excited into another orbital or energy level. And this is commonly done through the absorption or emission of light in quantized packets of energy known as photons. So if we have a photon coming in, the photon will have some energy, and that energy will be transferred to the electron and cause the atom to go into an excited state. So the electron will jump up to another orbital. Now this atom, if we just consider this two-level system, can also de-excite and this loss in energy because of the conservation of energy is manifested as another photon that's emitted. So what are real life examples of this type of excitation, de-excitation? Well, one of the most common ones is explored in lasers. And lasers have many useful applications in all sorts of technologies. Where a laser, you'll have an atom, like a two-level system, inside of a cavity, and if the atom is already in an excited state and you introduce a photon, you can induce what's known as stimulated emission. So you'll have that photon and another photon coming out from the de-excitation. Now if this process repeats many times, then you can build up a lot of light here, and you can produce a laser, which is coherent monochromatic light. We're just considering a single-mode laser here. Another example would be that of detectors, which are very useful in particle and nuclear physics. So one of the most common types of detectors in these fields and experiments is known as a photomultiplier tube, or PMT for short. And the photomultiplier tube operates on the principle of the photoelectric effect, where you have some radiation, here a photon, striking some piece of metal and exciting the atoms and the metal in the surface. And sometimes, if the energy is high enough, an electron can be excited to the point where it leaves the system and it'll strike another metal wall and strip off some more electrons. And this process repeats until there's enough electric charge to produce a measurable current in the photomultiplier tube. So this is a second very important application and real life example of changes in energy levels. A third would be that of spectrometry. And spectrometry is used in physics and also chemistry and it can be very useful for determining the mass of different compounds or even stars. If you look at stars and their uh, different signatures, you can determine the, from the spectral line width and the spectral lines what types of elements occur or uh, exist within that star and you can determine the mass of the star. So spectrometry is very useful and it also occurs in plasma physics, where you can determine the type of element and the types of atoms that you're working with by just looking at the types of light, the different wavelengths and frequencies of the photons that are emitted from these two-level systems, where you have electrons jumping up to excited states and then de-exciting. So these are three different examples, and there are many more in physics. So these are, I'm Walter Unglob, and this is Real Life Examples of Changes in Energy Levels of Electrons.